Hey friend, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new here. I am Crystal. I would love for you to subscribe. If you can tell from the title of the video, it's going to be all about the new Juvia's Place Cream Bronzer. My thoughts on it and do you really need it in your collection? To find out, keep watching. Mm -hmm. Okay, friend, I did pick this bronzer up from Ulta. It is retailing for $18. They have about five or six shades. I can't remember. Don't quote me. Um, but I picked mine up in the color Amber. I did go into the store and swatch Amber, Cocoa, and Caramel. And I will definitely leave some swatches on the screen. But I decided that Amber was the best match for me. And I'm going to show you what Amber looks like. I haven't swatched this one yet. I did swatch it in store. This is what it looks like just on the fingers. It looks nice and chocolatey. So let's just give it a swatch. This is what the bronzer looks like on my skin tone. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it does have some gold sparkle in it. And I feel like it is the perfect color for me. But I got to thinking once I swatched it, this reminded me of something I already had in my collection. So that's what prompted this video today. Do you need to go get this bronzer? Do you already have something in your collection that's similar? I'm going to show you some things that I have in my collection. You'll be the judge if there's something you want to go out and get or if you just want to stick to the products that you already have. The first ones I'm going to compare it with are the e.l.f. bronzers. I do have one elf bronzer is the luminous putty bronzer and also the original putty bronzer these retail for seven dollars um i will put a picture on the screen i think seven dollars um but when i first swatched this one it reminded me of the luminous putty bronzer so i want to swatch that today i do have this one in the color get glowing and this is what Get Glowing looks like. It has some of the same glittery gold in it. So it kind of reminded me of that as soon as I swatched it. And this is what it looks like on the finger. But let's just see side by side how they compare. It feels exactly the same. And it's looking the same, friend. You don't, If you already have this elf bronze in your collection you may not need to run out and get this juvia's place this is what they look like compared to each other the top is juvia's place the bottom is elf they look like dupes to me exact same thing and looking at it the juvia's has a little bit more red undertone than the elf but they both still have that glitter luminous gold flakes in it so very very similar if you already have elf no need to run out and get the juvia's play swatch it against the other elf bronzer just to see because i do not remember what this one swatches like this one again is the original elf bronzer and it's in the color bronzed bell and this is what bronze bell looks like and this one was quite neutral. I remember it being a neutral brown. And just to show you what it looks like on the finger. This third one is the Bronze Bell. It's more of a neutral undertone. Um, no glitter in it at all. Let me get up close so you can see. So if you are wanting something a little luminous with some glitter in it, and you don't have the Luminous Bronzer for e.l.f., you may want to try Juvia's Place. But for $7, I think you're getting a better deal with going with the e.l.f. Okay, let's talk price. With the Juvia's Place, you're getting a 0.30 ounce or 9 milliliter container for $18 versus these e.l.f. Putty Bronzers. They are $7 and you're getting 10 grams or 0.35 ounces. So almost... The same amount a little bit more in the elf than you're getting in the juvia's place for half the price so if you already have elf don't go out and get juvia's you don't need it it does the same thing 
but there are some other things in my collection I wanted to compare it to. I also have the ColourPop Super Shock Bronzer, and I have it in the color Dream Vacay. This one is $9 on the ColourPop website. So let's compare this one. If you have a ColourPop in your collection, you may not need the Juvia's Place. And this is what that one is swatching like. It's quite different from all of the other ones. So let's just see what it looks like on the arm. The bottom one is what the Dream Vacay looks like from ColourPop. Quite different from the Juvia's Place. It is a matte bronzer. So in this case, I think I would choose the Juvia's Place over the ColourPop. Only because I like a red bronzer with some... That glitter. It's something about that glitter. That glitter is just making me feel like I'm on an island getting a gold and bronzy tan. So I like that one if I'm just comparing the two. The next bronzer I already had in my collection is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This bronzer is $35. Okay, so if you already have this bronzer, then you need to go out and spend $18 more dollars. Let's swatch it. Let's see what they look like compared to each other. I do have this one in the color Deep Tan. And I'm going to show you what Deep Tan looks like. This is what it looks like. And then let's just swatch it compared to the others. You definitely get quite a bit compared to the $18 Juvia's Place. This one is... 30 grams or one ounce of product. So you get almost triple the amount because the Juvia's Place was 10 grams or nine grams versus 30 grams. So triple the price and triple the product. So let's just swatch and see what this one looks like compared to the others. This bottom one is the Anastasia, so quite different from the Juvia's Place. The next bronzer I had in my collection is actually a cream foundation. I picked this up on Amazon. It is from the Honest Beauty brand, and it's a cream foundation. I got this on Amazon for like $4. I picked it up in the color Walnut, and um, I'm going to use it as a cream bronzer and i think they're discontinuing this so if you want to get it you're gonna have to go to amazon to pick it up this is the color and i did swatch it already but let me just do another swatch on camera for you again this is in the color walnut this is what walnut looks like on my hand and then let me swatch it for you so I think that is a gorgeous cream bronzer. If you don't want to pay $18, go on to Amazon, pick that one up for $4.89, something like that. I know for sure it was less than $5. I think that one is a very good option if you're looking for a cream bronzer and want to save some money. Or if you're new to cream bronzer products and don't want to spend the $18 and just want to Test it out, I would say go to Amazon, pick up the Honest Beauty in the color Walnut. The next item I'm going to compare to the Juvia's Place is by Rimmel. It is the Instant Conceal and Contour Palette. Um, you can get this at Walmart. I think it's about $10. Now, I haven't swatched this, so I'm not sure what these colors are going to look like. I think I'm just going to swatch the darkest one, though. And wow, it's a lot darker than what I was thinking. Honey, don't look at these nails because I have gotten makeup in the nails. And oh my goodness, this is a really good one for $9. Okay, you can go to walmart.com, order the Rimmel Contour Palette, and this is what you would get. Let me see if I can zoom yeah. in. I think that one is a gorgeous cream bronzer. The next bronzer I already had in my collection is from CoverGirl, and I think this is discontinued, but you can pick it up on Amazon. I did pick it up in the color Deep, and it comes with quite a few shades in here. Let me see if I can get it open. It comes with three different shades. I'm going to swatch the middle one just so we can compare it to the other bronzers. 
Ooh, it's looking cute. The bottom shade is the CoverGirl, and that is what it is looking like. I do have one more cream contour palette to swatch just to compare to the Juvia's Place. Again, friend, I know we like to get things when they come out, new products, but we probably already have something in our collection that we can compare it to. The next one I'm going to show you is by Black Radiance. It is the Cream Contour Palette in Medium Dark. This is the Medium Dark Palette. I've had this for quite some time. I have not swatched it. Hopefully it's not dried up. But this is what it looks like. And I'm going to swatch this darker color. The one on the very bottom is the darkest color from this palette. I think I have quite a few bronzers in my collection. So I definitely did not need a new bronzer. Did I need this one? Absolutely not. Am I happy I have it? Yes, because it does have that little glitter in it. That little gold flakes in it that just looks gorgeous on brown skin so i am happy that i have it but definitely didn't need it i do have a good selection of cream bronzers in my collection so i just wanted to come on and show you what i have so that is all of the bronzers i wanted to compare the new juvia's place bronzer to this is not a bash juvia's place video i just wanted to show you what i have in my collection already and just to let you know, shop your own stash. If you are on a no buy, don't feel like you're missing out on anything. You can definitely wait till this goes on sale or something like that. You don't have to rush out and get it right now because as you can see, it compares to a lot of the other bronzers that I already have. And I'm sure you may have some in your collection. Will I be keeping it? Yes, absolutely, because I love Juvia's Place. I'm happy that it's in my collection. Comment down below. Let me know if you have any of these cream bronzers in your collection. Are you going to pick up the Juvia's Place bronzer or do you already have it? Let me know down below. If you are just stopping by and have not subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.